Assalamu alaikum. Hello. I'm doing this post for two reasons. One is to introduce myself to Dr. Stephen Cohn. Two is because I'm in disagreement in one of his recent post of a recommendation that I'm in disagreement with. Uh, I have received my training at Lincoln, Nebraska, and UMC Lincoln, Nebraska, with the Garth James. He was the chairman of the endodontic department at the time. I was also trained. One of my mentors was Dr. William T. Johnson. Both were presidents of the American Association in Anonis. I also have an honorary fellowship from the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and I've been taught how to read and evaluate literatures. I'm on a review board in the Saudi Anonic Journal, so I'm pretty much familiar on how to read the literatures. And I, I think based on my beliefs, I, I'm going to tell you why I'm in disagreement with such recommendations. The whole story started by someone posting, uh, advising his followers in a post that each and every patient with irreversible papyrus, you need to do occlusal reduction immediately after you give the injection, and that will prevent post-operative pain. And we got into disagreement on that too, as general statement as he puts it. I understand the literatures, I know the reference behind that, but it is not the thing to be generalized. Again, this is a non-sensitive uh, to percussion teeth. That was number one. The second post, then the request, the suggestion of the occlusal reduction was under the cover of the need for uh, endodontic restoration after the end of the treatment. The statement was conclusive and he used the reference as a, it's used pop pathways as a reference, the extant great book, pop pathways as his reference, and uh, mentioned Dr. Stephen Cohn. The statement that I'm in this agreement was that each tooth, each posterior tooth, needs to be crowned after endodontic treatment, and that will indicate justify that you will do occlusal reduction immediately after the anesthesia or during the endodontic treatment visit. Again, Dr. Stephen Cohn astonishingly did write his comments and was in total support to such recommendations, which I'm in disagreement with. So I'm going to write to Dr. Stephen Cohn about this and I hope that he sees this video or and or see my comments and see if we can if he can advise us where we stand because I st st still think that this recommendation is not updated. We'll just wait and see. Thank you very much. Salaam